Are you thinking about buying or selling a home this month and want to know what you're getting into or if right now is the right time for you? We're well, going to want to watch this video. We are going to break down what's happening in Solano County and what that really means for you as a buyer or a seller and if right now is really the right time. Let's, Let's go. I'm Lily Ratliff. I'm Brandon Ratliff. And we are a husband and wife real estate team here in Northern California that specialize in Solano County. Now, this is your first time to our channel and you want to learn more about, you know, Solano County all the way from the local hotspots to the real estate market. Go ahead and subscribe and tap that bell for notifications. Yes, Lily and I have been living in Solano County for over 10 years now and we've been helping people just like you buy, sell, invest in real estate and we absolutely love it. Yes, we do. So whether you think moving the next nine days or 90 days, we want to be your go-to resource. We want to be of help. So give us a call text, email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the description in the link below. All right, but let's get at it. Now this real estate market here in the spring, right? It is the first week of April, 2023. And it's funny, this feels like a new market and yet kind of reminiscent of 2021 all at the same time. But what do we mean by that? Yeah, so inventory here is extremely, extremely low. There are currently 69 active homes in Vacaville at the moment. Mm -hmm. And to give you some context, there's over 100,000 people in this city alone. Yes, and I mean, Vacaville is just the perfect example of the inventory issue that we are seeing here in Solano County. And honestly, this is a trend that we're seeing on a national level as well. You know, it's kind of funny because, you know, a couple months ago or even now, people are still waiting for the housing market to crash. They thought prices were either going to completely drop or just keep going up astronomically. We're not really seeing either of those. And really the main issue we're seeing it's just the lack of inventory. Inventory. What inventory? Exactly. exactly. There is none. <laughs> now we're actually down 38.5% in inventory when you compare February of this year to March of this year, which is a little concerning because again, usually we see inventory rise as we enter in the busy spring and summer markets. But again, we're seeing the opposite and actually more buyers in the market. So again, this is what's causing that imbalance. And the big reason for home inventory right now is due to people stuck in their two and a half to three percent mortgage rates. Mm -hmm. There's no incentive to put their house on the market because prices are higher. So sellers just aren't selling their houses. Yes, and I mean, they're literally stuck. Like a lot of these homeowners, they want to leave. Maybe yeah. they want to upgrade or they want to downgrade, right? But it doesn't make sense. Not only are they sitting on a two or three percent mortgage rate, but their home was probably worth, you know, they probably bought it at a much lower price, even if they bought three years ago. And so now you're seeing, you know, these almost homes that are could be double the price of what they bought maybe eight years ago and really high interest rates. And again, it just doesn't make sense. And understand the climate and when they bought their house, right, two or three years ago, everybody was trying to get a house. Everyone mm -hmm. was trying to take advantage of the two and a half, three percent mortgage rates. And so at that point, they just needed to get in and get in fast. Mm -hmm. Fast forward three years from now, we want to move. We yep. don't like our house as much as we thought we did. We've already outgrown it. And they're yep. stuck. So again, that is sort of the reason why we are where we are today in the housing market in Solano County. Speaking of mortgage rates, the local lenders that we use, we're currently seeing the rates around mid 5%, maybe to low 6%, again, depending on what loan product you're using and your financial profile. And while that's much lower than maybe that 7% that we were seeing in November of 2022, again, that's still much, much higher than a 2 or 3% mortgage rate. And especially when you consider the fact that homes are much more expensive now, again, it's just sort of causing that perfect storm that's causing the lack of inventory. So it's not going to crash like everyone they're saying? I mean, I, <laughs> I'm not sure. This lack of inventory is making it really hard. So if you're a buyer and you're looking to get into the housing market right now, your first step is speaking with a local lender. I can't emphasize this enough. Speaking with a lender, running numbers and getting that pre-approval is more important than ever because inventory is low. And if you see your house, you're going to want to act and jump fast. Mm -hmm. And nothing makes your offer stronger than having a pre-approval letter and having that local lender give the listing agent a call and just very verifying how strong you are financially as a buyer, right? So again, these are all the little things that you want to be doing in order to put yourself in the best position possible to secure a home when you finally see the one that you want. So after you're pre-approved, you want to find a local realtor. Yeah, let me emphasize that again. Local realtor. Mm -hmm. It's very important because these local realtors you're choosing, they're going to have local connections in the area. They know the area very well. Mm -hmm. They have relationships they can leverage. And it's going to be an overall great experience for you. And it's going to help you get your offer accepted. 
Real estate is hyper local, right? Just 40 minutes away from us in San Francisco, it's a completely different real estate market, right? Mm -hmm. The last thing you want to do as a buyer is maybe have an agent advise you to pay too much or too little for the home. And another thing that's great about our local realtor is they can leverage the relationships they have in the community to, you know, work with that listing agent, make your offer stronger and do what they need to do to get you the house. Yeah, we're doing it right now, actually. We had a client reach out to us <laughs> via YouTube, surprise. Yeah. They actually had a realtor they were working with that wasn't from the area. Mm -hmm. We spoke and told them why it's important to have a local realtor. Mm -hmm. We are now working with them. We're gonna get their house accepted here very mm -hmm. soon. They would have gotten this house if it wasn't for us being local. Yes. Now keep this in mind too as well. You know, if you have ties to a realtor that's not local or in the area that you're looking at, right, but you still want to support them and you have them, there is a thing in the business called a referral fee. So, you know, we actually worked that out in this instance, but just know there is a way where everybody can win in this situation and you get the best representation for yourself to get a house. And another reason why you want to choose a local realtor is purely for the fact that they are privy to coming soon listings. Right? So again, we know of other agents that have it coming soon before they hit the market. Mm -hmm. So it's not uncommon for us to find you a house before it goes live and giving you that extra step ahead of the competition. Yes. So again, these are all just reasons why you really want and need to use a local realtor in this market, especially with this limited inventory. So did we say use a local realtor? <laughs> 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 oh, Brandon. So now, before we move on to you sellers, one thing we wanted to mention for all of you second time or third time home buyers, right? These are people who already own homes that are looking to upgrade or downgrade. What you want to do is ask your lender or ask your realtor about a bridge loan. Now, what's a bridge loan, Brandon? So a bridge loan is going to help you be non-contingent. This is a way of you getting your offer accepted in this high demand of competition, and you are simply um, going to see your house later. Mm -hmm. The lender is going to front you the money, so you are non-contingent. You're going to put your 20% down or whatever it may be mm -hmm. and you're going to sell your house after the case. Yes. Now keep in mind this may not work for everybody, right? You do have to have, they take that down payment or that money out of the equity that you currently have in your current home mm -hmm. and they use that as your down payment in the home that you want. So again, you have to run the numbers with your lender. We're really advising all of our clients right now. Do that right now before you even go to look at the homes. Have that option available to you so that if you see the home that you like before you sell your current home, you're at least in a position to where you can be non-contingent and your offer is that much stronger to the sellers. So a bridge loan is an excellent tool to leverage and employ. Why? We actually had a Dixon listing. We currently have a listing now that we're in a contract mm -hmm. and the buyers buying our house, they actually had a house to sell themselves but they understood that the house was very, very beautiful and it was gonna go quickly and they had to use this bridge loan in order to ensure they got their offer accepted. And it's exactly what they did. Yes, I mean, this home again was a beautiful, stunning home, ready to go, had a pool. We actually had multiple offers on it, right? Mm -hmm. All the other offers were contingent upon selling their current home. Now our sellers, just like a lot of other people <laughs> yeah. right now, there's a little bit of hesitancy or uncertainty with where the market's going. And if they know that they can sell their home to a buyer who doesn't need to sell their other home, well, again, it just makes it that much more appealing. And in some cases, they'd even be willing to take less money just because it's a non-contingent offer versus a contingent offer. So again, can't stress this enough. Look into the bridge loan to see if it's a product that will work for you because it really could give you a huge leg up in getting the house that you want. Yeah, if you are with a lender that doesn't know anything about bridge loans, reach out to us. We have a couple lenders that actually do this all the time and they're mm -hmm. great at it. So whether you're a first time home buyer or a second, a third, a fourth, fifth, <laughs> yes, you want to be sure, again, prepare yourself, especially here in Solano County, for tight inventory, okay? You're going to want yourself, your realtor, to be looking every single day because homes are literally going that quickly again. And if you are a buyer in this market, I can't stress this enough, stay strong, stay committed to the cold because you are going to feel defeated. It's going to be tough out there. There's going to be multiple offers and you're not going to get your first or second home the first time. Maybe they will. Maybe you will. But maybe you won't. But if you don't, Again, don't stress about it. Just know that your house will come up. Yes, and again, you're doing the right thing by getting in the market now, right? We're probably gonna be seeing more and more buyers get into the market when it comes in the summer. So again, just be ready that if you see that home that you want, make sure you, your agent, and your lender are all very much a cohesive team and working and strategizing what they can do to make your offer as strong as possible. So now, sellers, let's move on to you sellers.
Now, if you're thinking of selling your house, we recommend you doing that sooner than later because like we said in this whole video, inventory is very low and demand is very high. You're more likely to get multiple offers, which is gonna cause a bidding war and you more money in pocket. Yes, yeah, so now we actually saw a pretty similar scenario last year where spring was actually the strongest time in the market if you were a seller, and it was for the same reason. There was just a bigger imbalance in the supply and demand. Again, you're gonna see more buyers come out in the summer, but you're also going to see a lot more homes come for sale in the summer as people are looking to move in between school years. And again, if there are more homes on the market for other buyers to look at, that means less competition, which means you're less likely to get multiple offer scenario less likely to get that top dollar so again we really do recommend try speaking to a local agent sooner rather than later try to get your home on the market in April or May if you can because of inventory your home is going to sell but if you really want top dollar you want to find the best listing agent and that's why we're recommending interviewing multiple agents yes yeah, so you're looking for someone who's gonna market the home mm -hmm. and get as many eyes on that home as possible because ultimately the more people viewing your home the more people get inside the doors the more likely you're gonna get competition and more offers in hand. Yes, now another thing that's really important to lean on your agent for right now is prepping your home and pricing it competitively. There are certain trends right now in home design really attracting more buyers than other homes and we're seeing these homes that have these features just fly off the shelf. So having a real estate agent who knows again what you can do to make your home as marketable as possible is going to be extremely important. That's a great point, Lily. And honestly, as a seller, you really wanna ask your agent how they're gonna price your home and why they're pricing it the way they are. Mm -hmm. Because those two things are gonna dictate if your house is in the market for you know three days or 45, 50, 60 days. Mm -hmm. The house that we are seeing on the market, there's nice homes, but their days on the market are so high because they overprice it to begin with. Find yourself a great local realtor who knows how to list a home. You know, they're gonna have them walk you through how they're going to price it, how they can make your home more marketable, and how they are going to, you know, spread your house throughout the universe, right? We were, I should say the metaverse, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> because getting more eyes on your home ensures that you're gonna be able to drive more traffic in there. That means you're gonna be more likely to have a multiple offer scenario, which will allow you to drive up the price or the sales price of your home and have more favorable terms to what you need. Well, there you have it. That's your market update. We really appreciate you guys watching this content. We enjoy making it for you and keeping you in the loop of what's going on here in Slaughter County. Yes. Now, if you like this video, you want to see more content like it. You want to learn, you know, what it's like to live in Solano County, anywhere from the local hotspots all the way to the real estate market. Go ahead and subscribe and tap that bell for notifications. And if you have any questions and you'd like us to help you navigate this market, never hesitate to reach out. Give us a call, text, email, or schedule a Zoom meeting in the description below. But until then, Ratliff's out.